Hi everyone, uh, this is an unboxing video of the Bauer ATXR roller hockey skate. Um, <coughs> I just received it today and uh, to be honest, I actually already made a video and found out for some reason the size was super high, 16 gigabytes. I have no idea what I was doing. So I just remake this video so I will pretend as excited as two hours ago. Okay, so this is the outside look of this box, which I still need to complain the Bowers. Bowers boxing, um, to me it's kind of cheap. I was expecting them to make it a little more fancy. Well, but if they have some reason to make it not unique, then okay. I just don't like uh, spending this kind of money and then got a box that doesn't match the label of the product. So you see, uh, Bauer APXR, size 9 EE, 2E, and this is for people who wear US shoe size 10.5. Uh, I have a white foot, so I need, actually, I went to the local store, the major, I need a triple E, and no one skate ever, ever made that white, and I believe I'm not the only one person. There are a lot of people. They are. They have white feet like me, or even white. Yeah, I believe they are probably. There are some people even white. Okay. Uh, on the box here has the sticker and telling you the information about the wear warranty and also you can go to the website, Rink Red, the Beta, Bauer, and the Mission website to look for more information, uh, because a lot of materials are put on like you probably already know from the product video uh, the chassis is definitely high low mission and the wheel is the, the beta, uh, ring red oh sorry the uh, wheel is not ring red it's uh, the beta I thought it was ring red okay uh, the inside I uh, already took it out it here has the sticker that was telling you I peeled it out because it's a little bit hard to read. Um, basically, the sticker was this one. I put it on the back. It's talking about the Apex foot bag that uh, it has the thumb guard. Sorry, it's not thumb guard, the toe guard. And if you don't like it, you can cut it. Okay, and uh, here come with it. Uh, with instructions about how to do the heat heat mode and the, some other guarantee uh, warranty things, and also the the screw to um, secure the screws on the chassis. <laughs> It'll be hard to say. And then it come with the owner's manual, and uh, it's it's interesting. It come with English and Spanish, of course. Yeah, and then unique. It teaches you how to do the power slide, which is benefit me a lot because I normally learn from people who just teach me and show me how to do it. I never actually see in a booklet like this. Okay, so for the minor part, and uh, now uh, it's getting. To, let's get to the business. <coughs> the actual skate. Like this. So this is the side. From the front toe cap. Sorry, cannot see it. Toe cap. Side. This uh, uh, this one is the left leg. So from the toe cap. Go outside. Back side. And inside. So you probably you do see the power mark is on both sides. And the ribs is the same same structure on both sides too. And the one thing I, I feel a little bit funny is that you can see here has another two two like rib design. It actually is just a paint on the boots. It's not actual rib like this. I was thinking of my What's wrong with that? You just make another two small ribs there. Okay, and uh, overall the quality of this boot, when you have it in your hand, yes, it's definitely high quality. 
a lot of synthetic leathers and I like the metallic black this part or metallic silver and then the bright orange and the black actually it's metallic black it's not true black so actually I like the color the colors that is used used on this group and also all fe fe uh, features that you see on the Apex ice skate you definitely see it here but I remember this this is something different but I don't have Apex ice skate so I cannot really say any, anything it's really different I just remember something is, is different but um, I will focus on something that I find unique and all the others I'm not going to the detail about what kind of material they use it and blah blah blah, blah. those technical parts that power they got more detailed information on it but just still Hydromax 2 uh, in inner side and then here here the comfort I, I forgot how, how do they say the gray part uh, it's like a sponge type it's it make you more comfortable when you have contact to, to this part but as you can see the it actually you can still have still feel a little bit the edge of the the lead uh, it's the rubber piece of the inner side so I, I don't know how actually how it feels when you actually skate on. Uh, I just received today, so I will try it later. And uh, okay, so you unique part first, this side, this piece, th this black piece on on both sides. I did not notice this part, and I did not remember seeing any people who review this product or do the product video ever mention this part. Um, this actually is uh, it's more like uh, strengthen the leather or say um, it's it's able to resist for abrasion when you uh, play hockey in the hockey rink for roller hockey I previously thought it's just like a leather there for design but actually when I open it the texture feels like the, the toe cap but just it's a leather feeling instead of a plastic feeling so it definitely has a better abrasion resistant power which is right at the place that you will need and I feel this is very good because as you as people who love mission I, I do I do like mission skate and I I did use mission skate uh, I had a one right now. It's downstairs. Uh, it's Rick one, and I do not remember did I have another skate before. It's long, long time ago. But uh, like Mission, they like to put a thick, like about like this, this thick, uh, clear jelly type pad, and put it here so that when you grind on the floor, it the that jelly protective layer going to be grinded, so it it's not going to hurt your boot but it's like it's, it still use a little bit space so this this boot instead of using that kind of thickness it's making a thin but has more resistance to it uh, for people who remember those uh, jelly pathing after you kind of scratch for a while it's going to be kind of erased or being shaped being shaped off okay uh, talking about the, the tongue the tongue is thin Thinner than any hockey skate I had. Uh, I had uh, I owned uh, Mission Rig One, and then uh, the past two seasons I was skating on what's that? Um, Reebok 10K hockey skate, and I sold the tour called Carbon because that one just has size too big, and that's what I think just. Rather, I keep it as a decoration and put it. I never use it. It's just uh, sold it to some people that who can really use that skate to really use its value. That that tour Co Carbon actually was a very good skate, but just it doesn't fit me, so I I gave up. Okay, and 
one thing unique, the first thing, unique, unique thing other than the food is uh, the, the food, the insoles. The insole you see the white part, it actually is totally different from other skates. Other skate is more like, like for, for, uh, for instance, uh, my Eastern Steel RF ice hockey skate after I took out the foot bag, the, ins the insole part, the, the, the inner side is just like a plastic surface, shiny plastic surface or the composite surface. And then with two holes drilled there but not well, well drilled. But this one, they actually put something like a cloth, a cloth there. You probably won't see the actual texture well from the video, but it's actually more like a cloth. So I believe this will actually increase the comfor comfortable feeling. And then, of course, the insult or, no, sorry, the foot bat. Um, it feels interesting. It's a little bit thick, but the thick is about like this thick only. Not really thick. Thick here, thin here, and even thinner here. And then you have the toe guard. Yeah, I keep on saying thumb guard, toe guard. Yeah, and if you don't like it, cut it. Yeah, the feeling of this one, oh, it's a really good. The texture is good, but just, I don't know, it's say form fit. Uh, for people who have tried the Eastern Supernature foot bed, which is used in the Stealth RF, uh, you probably will know how good that Supernature foot bed is. This one, whether it will be compatible to that one, I don't know. I, will, I have to try it. But one thing this one cannot beat is Supernature has this side, give you three three sides of the padding depends on your arc arc you do it you adjust yourself customize yourself this one one piece so I don't know how this will feel okay let me put this foot bed back to the skate okay so that is so this is a unique part it, one and then the inside of the insole unique part two unique part three um, Chassis. Actually, I do want to talk about the chassis. It's not about what kind of chassis they use. Is where they place it. This is really interesting because because for all the skate that I had used, I never see this kind of design. For people, uh, no, sorry, not for people. For everyone who is watching this video, definitely you're interested in hockey. Sorry, and for for everyone in your past experience, you always know chassis in center of the boot now this one it is more close to the the arc side you see you have more outside okay let me use more aggressive term <laughs> aggressive because I played aggressive skate years ago the wings you have a wings here and then you have very narrow inner side so does this one you have a bigger wing outside with the right foot you have a bigger wing outside and narrower inside what does this mean is um I saw this was just more uh, uh, like bad pro product because made in China but after thinking no it probably is, was defined like this because for my personal experience and probably most people's experience when chassis is more close to the inner side, you actually have more uh, direct power transfer to the wheel, especially for people who like to play like a fitness skate or especially saying a uh, speed skate. Instead of uh, instead of having the chassis in the center or outside, you probably want to have the chassis more close to the inside of your arc so that. For every stride, say simply, say right now it's like this, and now you are going to make a turn or make a strike. All your power is directly get onto the wheel because it's more like where your power directly goes down. Compared to the traditional way that you actually put toward more center of the 
skate, you act, yes, you do get more balance, but your power has a little bit being braided out. Yeah, I cannot describe in a better way. Uh, probably people who knows more than me can uh, use more proper terms, but that's my personal experience that when chest is is more closer to the sen uh, to the inner side the power transfer will be more direct to the wheels compared to the traditional way okay and uh, one other thing that i feel special is that <laughs> i remember uh if saying this one this the apxr is uh for people who don't do not play ice hockey but can still enjoy the ice hockey boots so they put the apx boot to the roller skate then there is something interesting because I remember Apex uh, ice hockey skate. There is one vent hole around here, but on this one you don't see any vent holes. It's a left leg, right leg. See, those stickers did not cover anything. It's just there. That even this one without any stickers. Yeah, I don't feel any vent holes there. So it's interesting. I remember Apex has that one. Okay, so the texture of the boot feels like composite, and I said it is because uh, it does it doesn't feels like Eastern Steel's RS, and doesn't feels like Reebok 10K skate boots. Uh, it this one is more like general like uh, like. A, Reebok ice skate 20k, 16k, 14k, uh, all those kind of case, those mat uh, materials, and uh, it's totally different from the e Eastern Arc steels, which is more rubber feeling and has a unique uh, smell. Not saying bad, but just kind of, I don't know how to de describe. Maybe just a rubber like smell, but this one does it does not. And the tongue is like thin very thin, thin uh, thinner than I've never seen and uh, this piece you probably is going to say the lace bite guard yes and uh, I'm glad I didn't put a hard plastic like tour did which prevent me from bending yeah, but it's not soft like Reebok too so it's in between okay uh, just a quick un unboxing of the Power APXR roller hockey skate, and uh, about how it actually feels in playing hockey. I will make I will make that video later because uh, my previous season just ended last week, so the next season will not start soon. Uh, I, and also, I I need to wait a, a little bit to get my hip my knee healed, so I will make that video a bit later. Thank you. Bye.